Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Carl Carter and this is London Rocks. Today I'm going to be talking to you about colour in diamonds. So when we talk about colour in diamonds, we need to get a few things straight. Diamonds come in all colours, yellow, brown, orange, green, blue, and the rarest of all, red. Today, we'll assume that you're shopping for a white diamond, and what you're actually looking for is a colourless diamond. The highest colour grade you can get is a D, and this is colourless, not white. So it's the absence of colour that you're really looking for. The top three, D, E, and F, are seen as the exceptional white. But as you come down in alphabetical order down the color spectrum, you're gonna see more and more color. Don't feel bad to compromise. It always comes down to a balancing act between the four C's, whether you've got a budget of 3,000 or 30,000, the smart thing to do is compromise somewhere. As you come down the scale, your stone will start to exhibit color. And the goal here is to stay as close to colorless as you can. When you get into J, K, L, M color ranges, your stone is gonna uh, be quite obviously not white, but not strong enough color to be regarded as a fancy colored diamond. Now this is murky territory, and I suggest you stay very clear of this. These colors of stones you will see a lot in high street stores, but high-end stores wouldn't be caught dead selling this kind of product. Saying that, if we keep going down the scale, we emerge out of the other end into the wonderful and rare world of colored diamonds. The most popular and easy to lay your hands on are yellow canary diamonds. And these range from fancy through vivid to vivid intense. There are also browns which have come increasingly popular in recent years and these range from a light yellowish brown which is referred to as a champagne to a dark deep chocolate brown which is referred to as a cognac diamond. These work really well in rose gold and yellow gold ring designs. So you don't necessarily need the best, you don't need a D or an E, uh, you can compromise but it's a bit like, imagine if you walked into a high street store that only sold J and L and M colored stones and you were comparing these, you'd have no perspective on the color. Until you bring a D or an E into that mix and you can compare, that's when you're really gonna notice what the benefits of having an exceptional white stone can be. Remember that a bright stone is not necessarily a white stone. So, the cut of your stone has a direct relationship with the color. So it's not as easy as just focusing on color. And if you wanna know a little bit more about the cut grading of stones, you can check out our video here. So hopefully this video helped you understand the grading system a little bit. Remember, it's just one of the four C's. And if you've got any questions about the others, you can leave them in the comments below, or you can check out our other videos that are coming up. My name is Carl Carter, and I'll see you next time.